Hi everyone. Welcome to my Sephora and Ulta haul from the last couple weeks that I haven't had a chance to share with you. Uh, we'll start with the Sephora. The first thing I purchased was the Buxom. It is the Passport Collection Jet Setter Collection, Jet Setter Edition. It features eyeshadow, a blush, also a lip gloss, and the mascara. So let me show you what that looks like. Comes in a patent leather like case that zips, and when you unzip it, this is what you see. Has a nice big mirror, mirror, and the four eyeshadows are great colors. Um, I believe reading across the top, um, from left to right, and then bottom left to right, they're called. This is the Passport Collection Jet Setter Edition. Uh, in the top left hand, I believe that is the color choreograph eyeshadow in twist. The one next to it is in shuffle. Then on the bottom row on the left, that is the eyeshadow in twirl. And then the darker navy color is in hustle. The pretty blush there. The color is Escapade. It's a pinky, rosy, really pretty color with just a tiny hit of, hint of shimmer. Then it includes the small blush brush and then the little eyeshadow brush that has already fallen out. Uh, there is the lip gloss in Sasha and then the mascara. I really do like the Buxom mascara. Let me give you a better look at the lip gloss. It is in Sasha. It is a light pinky, iridescent, a neutral. It'll be pretty by itself in the summertime. It'll also be pretty over darker, plummy, mauvey colors that you've worn in the fall and winter and want to give it a little, uh, want to wear it in the spring with uh, making it a little lighter. You can certainly use this to do that. And this came in all in a holiday gift package from uh, Sephora. So then let's move on to my next Sephora item. And one other thing about this, when you're finished with it, this little tray does come right out and you can use it as a cosmetic bag in your handbag. Well, you can just take that little tray out and it zips up to a nice kind of flat size so it's not real bulky in your handbag. And the next thing I got, I'd like to switch out my makeup first of the year. My makeup is not exactly doing what I want it to do, so I thought I'd try something different. Um, this is a set that they've had probably during the holidays and now on into January. It's the Makeup Forever, the HD Complexion Starter Kit. Of course, it comes with the HD uh, face primer comes with the small high definition powder to set your makeup and the very nice full size Makeup Forever Kabuki brush. Um, also included in the price is the Makeup Forever HD Finishing Foundation and of course your sales associate if you're not sure of the color will help you decide the color that you need. <clears throat> and the color that we decided I needed was N120. I'm assuming that means neutral, color 120. So I can't wait to try that. I wanted you to see all this before I unboxed it and got all messy with it. So the whole thing comes together as a package once you pick what is right for you. Sorry, my dog is kind of growling in the background. This was either $74 or $75. And if you have gone to any of the high-end department store counters, 
uh, you know that if you get these products, $75 is not bad for the products that it takes to start a whole new makeup regimen. So I'm going to try this. I'll be letting you know if I have to go back and get a different uh, shade in the makeup. I'll let you know what I think of the powder. I'm not a big fan of powder, but if this setting powder does not look chalky and if it helps set and hold my makeup on for the day and in the primer, then I am all for it. I'm all over it. So I will let you know all about that. So let's move on to my Ulta collection that I picked up. <clears throat> there were several things in Ulta that I had been meaning to try that I've heard good things about. Um, I've heard a lot of people, I do need a good eye makeup primer. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. It was uh, the sample size. It was up in the bins when you check out. I uh, believe it was 9 or $10, but... For a try, I'd rather try this than maybe get the full size and not be happy with it. So that's what this is. It's in the little potion, cute little potion bottle. So I'll let you know what I think of this. I think it's going to be a hit because so many people have already said that they like it. Another product that has gotten good reviews is the Too Faced Poreless Prime, Primed Poreless Face Primer. Now, I have not thrown my makeup out. I still have all the makeup that I've always been using. I'm just trying something new. My makeup is, I've been wearing the same thing for a while now. It's not giving me what I think it should. I'm just trying something else to see if maybe there's something out there I'm missing out on that will, will help me look better, will help my makeup stay better, will make it look better. I'm trying to keep my dog out of the shot. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to, I'll let you know how I like the Too Faced Primer along with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I do have decided I needed to try a new concealer. I have been using the Laura Geller uh, Concealer. Um, it's okay. I like it, but I thought I've heard some good things and recommendations about this. It's the Physician's Formula Conceal RX. I believe it was like $9.99. This is the Fair Light. And it just, you put a little on your hand and just tap it on with your concealer brush. So I'm going to try that and see if that's a better product for me than uh, the Laura Geller Concealer. Uh, I haven't had any BB, BB cream in a while, so this is what I purchased at Ulta. It is by Pure. I believe Pure is one of their in-house brands. It's the 4-in-1 Mineral Tinted Moisturizer Cream Hydration. It also is a broad-spectrum SPF 20, which is fabulous. Anytime I can get a makeup product that has some SPF in it uh, that's going to help protect my skin, I'm all for that. It's just To me, it's, it's just like multitasking. I did get it in light. This is what it is. I haven't opened the tube yet. I just got these particular things I just got yesterday. So I will let you know what I think of this. Uh, I did sample it there in the store. It is not a heavy, cakey concealer. So of all the ones that I saw yesterday, I think this is what's going to work best for me. And then my last purchase... I went in with the intention of buying the large uh, Naked Eye, one of the neutral palettes, the, just the Naked Eye, not the Naked Eye 2. Uh, I looked at it. Uh, it was all very neutral, which, of course, I knew. But the sales associate suggested before I buy it that if, since I have some neutrals in my collection that I actually look at this. She said she thought this would be neutral enough for me, but it would also give me a few colors. And she thought with my eye tone between brown and hazel that this might work better for me. And this is inspired by the film Beautiful Creatures, and it is um, a nice eye palette. And again, it's by Pure. Not only do you get the palette of eyeshadows, included in that is the pure um, eyeliner in black 
and also you do get a lip gloss in Lust. Uh, the colors are Secret, Spellbound, which is an olive, Supernatural, which is a beige, light beige matte, Siren, which is an olive, The Cursed, which is a very dark plum, Fantasy, which is a medium plum, Forbidden, which is a taupe, Fate, which is a really pretty color, and then the Black Magic Eyeliner and the Lust in the lip gloss. So let me give you a look at them in the in the box here. It has a nice little thing there. Okay, so here we go. The top one is Supernatural. Siren is the olive green. Spellbound is the nat is the matte kind of beigey. Then we have Fate. Sorry about that. And then the Fantasy, the Secret, which is a great pinky taupe. Cursed, which is the dark, dark purple. And then Forbidden over here in the end. And that all comes in a palette with the uh, pencil. So that's another pencil I can add to my collection. So uh, this whole group was $36. So you're getting all the eyeshadows along with the eyeliner pencil and also the lip gloss. So that's basically it for this group. Uh, I have now the Target haul here. I'm, I'm sorry, the Ulta haul and then the Sephora haul. So I have a lot of makeup here that I need to put away. Um, if you've tried any of these products, I'm interested to know particularly what you think of the uh, HD uh, Makeup Forever and also what your ideas are on different BB creams. I have a combination to oily skin and I'm venturing out and I'd like to see what you think and what some of your favorites are. Uh, I'm still trying to find the new spring collection that has come out. I believe it's the Maybelline Tattoo the Cream Shadows. I'm looking for the it's a branded beige, I believe. Haven't found that yet. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're at all interested. Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day. Bye-bye.